The message of the Almighty God for each one of us today is in wordness. So let's open the Bible in Mark 16. By the way, you have a good, good, good place over here. When I came here, I was a little losing on the street. I say, I think I got the wrong place. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I get here about 9.30 a.m. and I say, maybe it's the other building. So. But I check it up and say, oh, no, 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 everything is good, everything is fine. <laughs> so, Mark 16, verse 14 through 20. So, afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and embraced them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after was rising. And he said unto them, Go, Jane told with the word, and preach the gospel unto every creature. He that believe and baptize shall be saved, but he that believe not shall be them. And these signs shall follow them to the belief in my name. Shall they cast out devil, they shall just speak with the tongues, and they shall take up serpents. And they, if they drink any dirty thing, it shall not be hurt them. Then shall lay hand on the sick, and they shall recover. So... Then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and set up on the right hand of God. And they went forward and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and he confirmed the words of signs following. Amen. Amen. So we have three special lessons when we read uh, this verse. Uh, doing a little exegesis about the text, we find three important things. The first one that I want to mention uh, in this context is that Jesus reproached the disciples this believe. Listen to this. When Jesus reproached the disciples, the purpose of the reproach of Jesus is does not eliminate them for the leadership. And I say amen. amen. Because when we find that Jesus is reproached us in the Bible, we can see that Jesus does not eliminate leadership of the disciples. On the contrary, he just confirmed them in the fame by sending them to work again. <laughs> so, this belief in the original words is apistia in Greek. So, apistia means has three different understand and comprehend. Number one, that's mean infidelity. So when I, when I see this word disbelief, Jesus reproves the disciple because of their infidelity. So when we, we, we speak about infidelity, we, we, we very sure with the word mean adultery. So Jesus, you know, reproves them because they are a spiritual adulterers. Jesus is reproach them because they are unfair. That's the second meaning of the Greek word apistia. In Spanish, you say apatia. <laughs> apatia is, you know, disbelief. And number three, disloyal. So now you can get the pictures right now, and Jesus is reproach them because they are disloyal with Jesus, because they um, they unfair with Jesus because they they got infidelity with Jesus. So the text disbelief. And how this could happen when Jesus walked through them and with them doing you know so much and such as miracles around, and when Mary and Magdalena go back to them and say Jesus is rising, they say you are crazy. <laughs> well, you see, Mark, I love this book because of the first uh, gospel. This is the only one that shows more miracles of Jesus. 
and this is the only, uh, the more chultry gospel, but have more miracles than the other's gospel, you see. But the topic of Mark, when he wrote this, you know, about the 64 after Jesus Christ, he was, you know, uh, in struggling with the disciples because Neron, he burned the city to, you know, to say that the Christian people is the demons or something like that. You know, he, he was very afraid about the Christianity because that man that's very crazy. <laughs> you know, he was demon possessed. He burned the city and say, no, the Christian people do this. So they start to be, you know, killers and persecuted. And then, you know, Mark decided to write to let them know to all the people on the ages that are persecuting that Jesus is with us, walking with us, even when we are killed or persecuted, he is still acting and doing miracles around the people. Amen. So now you can see that Jesus is reproach them, but when Jesus reproves, he don't eliminate them, he just, you know, gives something to do, more work. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And I say hallelujah for this. So what is the danger of the deep belief? Let's turn to the uh, chapter 6 of Mark and let's see for, let's read the verse, chapter 6 and read together with me um, the verse 6 and 5 and 6, Mark 6. This is the dangers of the belief. So verse 5 saying, and he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hand upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the village teaching. So now you can see that what is the, the, the danger of the beliefs? What is the danger of us to be, you know, to be in honesty with God, to be in adultery with God, you know? Because we, if we don't believe, we are unbelievers, we are no Christians. So what is the dangerous? So Jesus says that the dangerous is that you limit the Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus heals the unbelief with work. This is the dangerous of the, the belief is limit the power of the Holy Spirit. So let me tell you something, my friend. I think that God is not happy when we limit his power. But I got, God is very happy with those shall that believe in him because when you believe in Jesus, you, you lead to God to do whatever he wants to do and with your congregation. That sense that, you know, if we believe, you give the opportunity to God to do God's will. That's it. <laughs> so how Jesus heals your belief? <laughs> well, Jesus heals the unbelief with work. <laughs> Amen. Amen. My friend, let me tell you something. If you think, oh, you know, I came to this, to this church because, you know, I, I feel most comfortable here because I, I think I, I, I'm very relaxing. Let me tell you something, my friend. You are thinking wrong. Jesus don't brought you here to relax. <laughs> Jesus don't open this congregation six years ago because he want to do a sleep and do lazy, you know, and say, okay, I'm, I'm here, you know, I'm a statu quo here. No, my friend. No, Jesus brought you to this church because he got a lot of work for you because he is interesting and saved your family and saved you. So Jesus put you in this place because he gives them a warning. Go and keep him into the old world and go. And that is the order for you today. So this is, you know, the only way that Jesus can say that you believe give you a lot of work for you. And you say, Pastor, why you are coming, you know, to do him? <laughs> I told you, we, you know, praise night for me. You know, I don't want to work. I'm very sick and, you know, I feel tired. But let me see, you know, the tired is the evil, evil demon possessed, your spirit. <laughs> you <know? laughs> because you can feel tired, you know, in the middle sense, but, you know, that doesn't mean that you are not allowing the God, you know, working into, into the place or into the life. I mean, there is no excuses. To limit the power of God is no excuse, my friend. Amen. So the baptism by immersion is necessary for the salvation. This is the second point here that we find. Uh, please go back with me in the chapter 16 and, and go to the verse uh, again, the 15 on March 16, verse uh, 15. Say, and he's saying today, go in ye unto all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. What, what, what happened when you, when you start to preach? What happened when you speak about Jesus? What is going on when you preach the gospel? This is the result. Some people start to believe. Amen? Amen. 
Listen, nobody will believe if you don't believe in preach. If you will find people that preach, you will, find, you will find people to get baptized. Because the result of the preach is people to get baptized. So Jesus says, and he believes and he baptized shall be safe. Amen. 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 Baptism. That's the word in, 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 in the, the word in, in the Greek. Baptizo means be wet, get completely wet, be buried in water. That's mean baptizo. So, safe. So is the word in the Greek. Very interesting. That's mean protect. So Jesus say, if you know, I will protect, protect the people that baptize. I will protect them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Jesus says, I will save. I will deliver them completely healing. That's what Jesus says about it. So now, how do you sell the product? If, it, you know, Nike say, okay, I need you for the next uh, 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 two for uh, the 20s, fives, A Jordans. And, you know, you will do the designs. And when the people we see, you know, um, we see on the screen about the new shoes, we find that you will tell them, hey, don't use you, these shoes. There are no good shoes. Please, this is hard. Oh, uh, uh, don't, don't buy it because you are not secure if you got the money for buying it. I think they are very expensive. What do people will say? They, they will say, okay, you know, you will break down. <laughs> So how are you talking about the Baptist? Are you talking about, I, you know, thinking really because you don't know if you will make, I mean, that, 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 I, I mean the, the, this is very hard, uh, uh, thinking about it. Wait a minute. That's the way? <laughs> that is the way that you are, you know, uh, uh, talking about Jesus? Putting down in the mind of the people? Let me tell you something. I think maybe the next time that we come back to preach here, I will see more people here. Amen. Because I'm seeing in your face that you are believers of Jesus Christ today. Amen. You know, I got some, some, I'm fighting with people, you know, when, when, when we got evangelist meeting in Spanish. Don't believe you know, that I don't have, you know, you believe in my church. They are everywhere. But you know what? I never stop. I don't care if they're mad or whatever, but I know that I baptize everybody that believes in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everybody. Because I understand, according to the Bible, that the immersion is necessary for the salvation. And when I talk about, you know, the, the gospel, I understand that the gospel is the only opportunity that the people have, only one opportunity to be saved. There is no more. So when, when you talk about baptisms and you, you, know, you are winning soul for Christ, tell them that this is the best decision to make it. Tell them then they know that they will get protected for Jesus Christ. Tell them then you know that Jesus is powerful. Tell them then that Jesus will completely help them in, this, in, the, in, this, in the exactly in the right moment that they are getting baptized, Jesus is healed them. Tell them that, that nobody will you know, lose to get this decision or to go forward to this decision because this decision is an order for Jesus Christ. And when Jesus, you know, order, remember that he's not reproaching the belief to kill you. He's reproaching you to stand up you again and give you the mission. Amen. You see? So let me tell you something. The third lesson that we are learning is that in wordness, According to what we're reading here, you know, are the signs, we need signs, are the signs that are following to the believers that exercise their faith through the moving, standing on the promises of God. So you never stop because you are standing on the promises of God. You are never going to stop because you got faith. You are never going to stop because the Holy Spirit is with you. You are never going to stop because you got the warrior, Jesus Christ is the warrior. And look what signs Jesus is talking about. He says, take up serpents. That's the signs. So the serpents, what, what does it mean? What, what symbolizes the serpents in the Bible? When, when you look in Revelation, the, the, semper, 
<laughs> so, you know, there is a lot of people that they need delivered from the devil because they are on drugs right now. They are on alcoholic right now. They are in pornography right now. They are in fornication right now. They are becoming an adulterous right now. You know, they, they, they are robbing the people right now. And how do you catch the demon one when you preach and we you say to the people, go right now, both you and I, bow down into Jesus, and in the moment that you pray for them, you know, and you believe and you put your hand upon them, the Holy Spirit descend and the demon can fight Jesus. He, he run away. So my question is, are you doing that? Or you are, you know, take, take it easy, you know, I, I'm very good, I find another place, you know, I, 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 I'm here, you know, please, you know, uh, 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 I am voluntary, Pastor. Pastor, I'm voluntary, you know. What what, what are you talking about? Hey, Jesus said, you know, your awareness, a spirituality is not a romantic sense. There is a lot of people living in romantic Adventist people. We are the saints. We got the prophecy of the 2003. You know, we, we got, but 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 you know you know they never get baptized anybody. They, they, they are living in romantics, and they're always expecting you know that the pastor or the elder has to fix them in the church. Let me tell you, my friend, the Pharisees. They act that way. And romantics, little romantic things. But Jesus says, hey, this is not in romantic in a movie like, a, you know, like, like a, uh, the Titanic, something like that. <laughs> you need to take the serpents because the portion of the serpent is kill people. And the only way that they can be safe, I need you. When you go to their house and you pray, the demon is going away. You know, cast out devils. I speak new tongues. Pastor, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> I only speak English. Uh, I, 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 you know, in a Pentecost, to speaking in tongues. Jesus is saying, okay, you know, when you speak in tongues, it's now when you open your lips and your mouth, it's because you are blessing the people. You know, it's because you got faith. It's because you got hope. Can you imagine in a seven-day Adventist, you know, waiting for Jesus and say, oh, no, we're going down to, we're marching to say, you cry. I don't know if we are safe. Oh, this is very hard. Can you imagine who can get baptized that way? <laughs> who can get to the church that way? Man, I tell you, you know, it's better go to, to, to the theater and get a movie that come to the show because this is not relevant to me. But when I hear somebody say, I'm healing in the name of God. Amen. I was drunk, but Jesus saved me. I was in the alcoholic, but Jesus saved me. I gave baptized, and I got my son to pray with me tonight. Amen. And, you know, I got, I, I find, you know, my person for Jesus. I find, this is my friend, Robert or Peter, you know, and, and, and I'm very happy that his family is here, sharing with us, and they bring all to this fellowship part with us to share this food. You know, the signs, the signs, the signs, we need signs that prove that the Holy Spirit is working with you and to you. Come on. You know, don't let me sleep. <laughs> Wake up. This is the problem with that romantic evangelists today. A lot of seminars. A, a lot of, you know, and then when we see our numbers, we need numbers because we are stressful. You know, let me tell you something. The numbers don't save you. But you, what is going on with you? Signs. Speak new tongues. Lay hands on the sick. Preach everywhere. Keep it forward and move. This is the only way that Jesus has to heal Amen. the unbelief. This is the call that Jesus has. Isaiah the prophets understand 
that he, he needs to be in, in awareness. And God says, I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for somebody. Go with me in chapter 6, Isaiah. Chapter 6. 5 and 6. Then say, Who is me? For I am done, because I am man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of the people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of the hosts. When you see the king, you got to ocean. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. disbelieve that word, or number two, go forward. The problem is not the church. The problem is not the elders. The problem is that nobody visits me. The problem is me. Amen. Amen. I got to understand that I have that I need, go forward. Then, say the Lord, flew one on the seraphims unto me, having a light called as his hand, in which he hand taking into the tongue from all the halter, and he laid up upon my mouth and said, Oh, thee has touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy did the purse. And also I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Go, go, Lord, 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 here I am. <laughs> It's me. Save me. Amen. Amen. He doesn't say, oh, no, it's the pastor, it's the elder, oh, it's the deacon, oh, it's the sister. No. Save me. Amen. Amen. And when Jesus came to the disciples and reproached them, he said, go. Go. And then you see, you know, in the chapter 16, you got, you know, two pictures. One before Jesus uh, raised up, and then when Jesus raised up. And Jesus says, you know, this is the picture. The disciples was, you know, in disbelief. And now you see that Jesus, you know, went up to heaven. And the disciples start to peace because the text says that they start and they peace everywhere. And Jesus was with them. Amen. Amen. So Jesus is with us today. <laughs> Let me tell you something, my friend. There is not nothing more wonderful in this life that we can see and bring, we can see our families safe, that you can, you know, not only see your family safe, that you can say, you know, I got my cousin, I got my uncle, I got my aunt, my grandma baptized. Two years ago, one year ago, one month ago, my sister from my job, she was baptized. Amen. Too much blood and no results. Mm -hmm. We need to start more results and leaks blah, blah. This is the message today. I saw, I, I count 27 chairs over here this morning in the Sabbath school. When I came here, I, I have only two brothers in the room and, and two on the screen. And I don't to, to blame you, but we need to change. Because the next Sabbath, I encourage you in the name of Jesus, bring somebody to that house because that's your work. If you need wisdom, ask to Jesus. If you need pray, pray. If you have, it's very wonderful that today you go, amen, but are you meeting in the week for a small group to pray? Are you doing that? Are you crying for the people? Or so? I, I, do you have a, a list of pray every day praying, Lord, this, I want to see this lady in the next Sabbath. Are you, doing, are you still doing that or not? You got to move. Because the only way to take out the, 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 the disbelief is work. So Jesus is the reason for this season, but God, you know, he took the decision. 
word with you. He came, you know, preached alone and saved everybody. But, you know, he said, I got an idea. <laughs> I will use your pen, though, yours, with me, yeah. to do that job. <laughs> Who say, sing me, Jesus Christ. Sing me. Do you got faith? You're marching to Sayo in the name of Jesus. You have to cry and say, Lord, we need souls. We want to get people baptized at the end of this year and, and, you know, and, and, and believe in the name of Jesus. And Jesus was responding with wonderful miracles. Next time. When I will come right here, I will see a lot of people here. Who is standing and say, Jesus, this is me. Sing to me. Sing me to preach the God. Are you standing up? I want to pray for you today. Sing me, Jesus. I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. Thank you, Father. Because you call us to be believers of the Almighty God, Jesus Christ. Then because you pay their churches on your purpose, you give this building because there is a lot of people that the Holy Spirit is working in their hearts and they only are expecting for somebody, somebody to catch us the devil, to lay their hands upon their sick. They're expecting for somebody to bring them back to church. And here is the people. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.